The first thing is to protect your penis. This is actually something I don't think we talk about enough, like in medical spaces or even like public health and in, the, in, in, in general. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that, like, let's say you're playing sports, contact sports, wear a cup guys, wear a cup, protect your penis when it's appropriate. You want to protect it from trauma, from injury and things like that, that could be damaging. The other thing is for um, those of you men who ride bicycles, whether you do deliveries uh, for a job, whether um, you ride a bike just a lot anyway, like that's the way you get around. Maybe you um, uh, ride a bike for sports or athletics or whatever. Um, it's really important to protect your penis in this situation as well, because depending on the seat, uh, depending on the bike, etc. Some um, bikes can actually be more potentially traumatizing to your perineum. That's like your penis and testicles and things like that. Now, just look online. Actually, the CDC has some guidelines about this. You can look online and find ways to, and there's a number of things. I've seen articles about like um, the shape of the seat, um, also padded um, padded pants that you can wear while you bike. Um, I can't give you specifics because I'm not an expert in this area, but if you do ride your bike a lot, I want you to think about this. Super, super important. Okay. Um, so first thing is protect your penis. Second thing is don't use steroids. We are talking about anabolic steroids, the steroids that some people use for performance, like athletic performance enhancement. Don't do it. Stay away from it because they cause lots of health problems, first of all. Okay. But the other thing is drilling down some of those health problems. Well, it can cause your testicles to shrink. Yeah, no, no one really, no one wants that. Um, also, it can cause low um, sperm count and infertility. Again, not a good thing. But also, it can contribute to baldness, um, man boobs, like breast growth in men. And again, there's a lot of other problems with anabolic steroids. Do not use them. It's 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 not okay for your health. Okay, that's the second thing. All right, third thing is. Take a look down there, okay? Um, I find this with a lot of my patients, whether men or women. Um, sometimes they come into my office and they're like, hey doc, there's something going on down there. I'm like, well, describe it. They're like, I don't know. I didn't, I'm like, did you look, you didn't look at it? They're like, no, I mean, I no, <laughs> I get it. I do understand. Like sometimes it can be scary. Like sometimes I know we get worried about what's down there, or what we might feel or whatever, but I want you to look, get a mirror, look down there, lift up stuff, look underneath there, pull things aside. Okay. Have your partner look if it's easier. Okay. Easier for them to see or what have you, but just take a look. Why? Because look, if there's any problems, you want to make sure you know about it so you can address it. That's all, you know, you just kind of want to know your body. Right. Um, so just make sure that you're examining, sort of taking a look, being cognizant of your body. That includes your penis, your testicles and things like that. Okay. All right. Next wash down there. Uh huh. Wash but I mean wash properly, okay? Um, if you have, uh, if you're uncircumcised, make sure that you are washing properly. If you are circumcised, make sure you're washing properly. Get in there, get the folds, lift things up underneath on the side, wash yourself because this will also help keep your penis healthy. Um, it will reduce bacterial viruses, other germs and things that can cause infections and other things. Okay. You don't want that. Okay. So this is very important. Make sure you're maintaining your hygiene, washing properly. It's going to be super important. Um, limit your sexual partners and have safe sex. Okay. Um, the limiting the sexual partners is about uh, reducing one's risk for getting STDs. Okay. And we know that STDs can not only affect your sexual health, but affect your health in general. Um, so limit your sexual partners to reduce that risk. Okay. Also make sure you are using safe sex. Okay. Safe sex is the way to go all the time. All right. Um, all right. Next thing is, um, think of your penis like you think of your heart. Okay. What I mean by that is your penis actually has blood vessels and it's actually some of the ways the blood vessels are super, super important to the penis. Um, it, the blood vessels play a role in getting erections and all, all sorts of stuff. Okay. This is the thing. And because it has blood vessels, the things that tend to affect our heart, like we think about like heart disease and stuff like that, the things that can affect our heart can also affect our penis because there are blood vessels there as well. So let me be specific. All right. Um, if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, make sure you're keeping those in control because you don't want to have, um, artery disease. Remember you can get artery disease plaques in your arteries anywhere in your body. You can also get it in your penis. Those things can contribute to erectile dysfunction, but other things that can contribute, um, is smoking, um, drinking too much alcohol, 
Um, also, make sure that you are exercising and maintaining a healthy weight. All of those things, again, that are good for your heart tend to be great for your penis as well. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, the next thing is to get vaccinated. I know you're saying vaccinated. What does the vaccine have to do with my penis? Well, let me tell you. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about the HPV vaccine. I actually have a video on HPV. I'll link it here. It's really, really important to know about. Um, this vaccine is indicated for men and women of a certain age. It's not eligible for everybody. Not everybody's eligible for it, by the way. But HPV stands for human papilloma virus. It's a virus that is spread sexually. Um, and many people don't have any symptoms, but this virus can cause genital warts, okay? Um, it can also cause many different types of cancers in men and in women, okay? So by getting vaccinated with the HPV vaccine, you are lowering your risk, lowering your risk of getting HPV, which can cause genital warts and other types of cancers. So guys, getting vaccinated is super important for your penis health, um, for your scrotal health, okay? Uh, the next thing is make sure that you are getting tested, all right? So I talked about earlier, limit Limiting your sexual partners, also using safe sex, but you want to get tested. Get tested regularly, okay? And also, also this is something I really advocate, all right? Um, get in the habit of having frank conversations with your partners about their status as well. This should be something that you talk about. I always say that if you know if we're if we're, we're if we're at the place that we're talking about sex, and we also need to be at the place where we're talking about our history. Um, last time we got tested, we're using we're we're being safe, and we're talking about these things. This is really important, okay? Because this is your body and you want to make sure you're keeping it healthy. Uh, and the very last thing is, this is one that might surprise you too. Manage your stress. I know you're probably like, again, what does stress have to do with my penis? Well, um, and many of you might even know this, right? When we are stressed, and stress can come from many different things, whether it's lack of sleep, problems in a relationship, stress at a job, stress at home, whatever, um, that can actually affect our performance, sexual performance, okay? Stress can contribute to erectile dysfunction um, as well as other things, right? So managing stress is going to be important as well. Um, guys, and for the girls out there who have men in their lives, which we all do um, to some degree, okay, whether they're, you know, family or partners or whatever, these things are really, really important to keep in mind. Not taking steroids, making sure that you are protecting your penis, wearing a cup, um, you know, keeping it safe, you know, literally keeping it safe, okay? It's important, right? Uh, all right, so I do think I got everything on my list, guys and gals. I hope this was helpful. Um, remember, this is your body. We want to make sure you stay as healthy as possible. Let me know what you think about this video. Share this video with anyone you think it might be beneficial for. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if these things resonate with you, by the way, if there's anything on this list you didn't know. I'm Dr. Jen. I do daily videos on all sorts of stuff, okay? Uh, all sorts of health stuff. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Please like and follow my page on Facebook. Consider joining my uh, membership groups on Facebook and uh, YouTube, actually, and also on Instagram. We do private lives and stuff like that. Um, also, I'm on TikTok and Instagram at Dr. Jen Cottle. And check out my website where you can sign up for my free health newsletter, drjencoddle.com. All right, guys. Love y'all. Okay. Bye.